Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So this is something a little bit different. I'm doing a gel polish application video and it's also a review for Goddess gel polishes for Nirvana nail supplies. Um, what happened was I won a competition on their page um, to win three gel polishes and then when I chose my gel polishes, I just said that I would upload to YouTube when I get them. So she said if I did an honest review, then um, she'll send me a couple of extra bottles. So said, well, you don't have to do that, but it's up to you. Um, anyway, she did. And this is what I did with it. So I'm just doing my prep work, as it says on the website. Followed all the instructions, so I'm just pushing back my cuticles. I've sped this up a tiny bit so that you're not here all day but yeah just nipping away that excess cuticle there I know some people don't agree with nipping cuticles but I've been trained to do it I know what I'm doing so there's no need to worry I'm just nipping away any excess skin because I hate anything like that anyway. My cuticles are quite bad because I've not had anything on my nails for a few weeks because I'm trying. I was trying to give them a bit of a break, but I thought, you know what? Why not have a bit of gel polish on? Covers up the hideous nails that I've got. <laughs> Now I'm just coming in with my TMBL 150 grit nail file and just taking the shine off the natural nail. It looks like I'm being more vigorous than I am. I was being very gentle because my nails are quite thin because I've had um, acrylics on for two years non-stop. So... My natural nails are like paper anyway before I applied anything. Don't know why I tried all those tricks, you know, my mum used to say, eat jelly cubes, it'll strengthen your nails. Never worked. So I'm just dusting off. Any excess dust and then going in with my acetone and wiping over the nails. I literally just followed all the steps from the website just to make sure I was doing it all correct. I am gel polish trained anyway but some products require you to do it a little bit different so I'm just folding over that bedroll so I'm not getting any dust in my nails. And then I'm coming in with the base coat. And it is Titan Base Coat, I think it's called. Yeah. And I got this one because it's a bit different to what I already have in my collection. It's The viscosity is quite thick. So I thought I'd have that bit of extra strength that I need for my natural nails. And I was quite impressed actually. 
So you only need a tiny, tiny bit. Just but make sure you're capping all the edges as well. Just wipe it off the skin there because my nails are very short. <laughs> And I did just do my four fingers first and then my thumbs up like normally I'll just do them all because my lamp does cure them all but I thought I don't want to chance any under curing when I'm trying to do a review so that's why I did that so I'm just coming in here now with blue moon it's a gorgeous blue color I love it don't usually have dark colors on my nails but this color So I'll just apply two thin coats of that and cure it in my LED lamp. I use the Sun UV5 UV LED lamp. So it cures all gels. Okay, I'm going to do a bit of fluff there. We don't want that. And just make sure you don't get any on the skin whatsoever because it will cause product lifting and peeling. Literally, get anything off your skin. <laughs> making sure I've cut to the free edge there and then just cure that for 60 seconds obviously I cut the time down on the video because I'm sure you don't want to be sat there watching my arm while the cure. <laughs> and then just apply the second coat of colour and the coverage is just amazing. Like I've used other brands and I've had to use like three coats for good coverage. But these have been fine. One thing I will say is they don't have a very tacky layer, you know, even the colours. I know the top coats are no white top coats anyway, but even the colours, they don't have a very tacky layer, which is good. But I like to use that tacky layer to apply glitter, which you'll see in a bit. It doesn't, like loads, loads doesn't stick like I expected it to, but it's fine. It worked out in the end. I'll just know now for future reference. So here I am, popping that glitter on. This glitter's from Sparkle Supplies UK. And it's called Dazzle Me. It's from my top five collection. So I will link that in the description box along with a discount code as well. If anybody wants to order. Just get any excess glitter off there. Don't want any sticking out and causing product lifting or anything. So now I'm going in with my Hero Top Coat. And again, this is a, a thicker viscosity. I think that's the right word. So it's really easy to apply, actually. I usually like a shorter brush for gel polish, but honestly, there was no fault with these whatsoever. The brush just moves where you want it. Make sure you cap the free edge. And then I um, top coat my ring finger last because I don't want to contaminate the rest of my gel polish with glitter. So, do that. And then I did notice there was a piece of glitter on my brush. So, you'll see me wipe that off on the tissue in a moment. Because we don't want to contaminate the bottle. And then just 
pop them in my lamp for 60 seconds again. And then I'm going to show you application again on the thumb. So tighten base coat, two colour coats and top coat. And then I finish off, as it says, with some cuticle oil as I would any nail service. And I have psoriasis on my nails, so I always apply cuticle oil all around the nail and underneath. Just so that it's not drying and cracking and stuff because it can be painful but at the moment it's not too bad it's not flared up so we're all right but I was really really impressed with this gel polish to be honest and I will be investing in some more did these a couple of days ago now and they're still just as shiny as they were there's no chips no marks bear in mind i am a nail tech and we do file our nails when we're filing other people's but they've been fine up to now i will do an updated video in two weeks time um to show you the longevity of the gel polish so you can see for yourselves what they look like in two weeks time. So as I say, just top coating there, capping the free edge. Always make sure with gel polish you cap the free edge. It's really important, otherwise you will get chipping and lifting and peeling. And you really don't want that. Look how shiny they are. Look at that shine. <coughs> Sorry if you can hear my partner coughing in the background. So I'm just going in there with my cuticle oil. Like I said, all around. <laughs> and then, because obviously I went over the nails as well, I do go in with a little bit of IPA just to wipe over the nails to get the oil off. So you can see what they look like. And then I'll show you the picture of the hand that I did and then the picture of the finished look when I've done my other hand. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing if you don't already. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you want to see more gel polish, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!